Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be the third of the new Zodiac combo tutorial videos for the post-maximum crisis capabilities of this deck. Utilizing Zodiac Chaka 9 as an extender, using Zodiac Hammer Kong as some spot protection for your boards, stuff like that. There's a lot of different capabilities that this deck has access to now because of what Shaka 9 allows you to do for your combo sequencing and all that sort of nonsense. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a one card combo. It is Speedroid Teratop and what you'd imagine Speedroid Teratop to be able to do is you'd be imagine it to be able to you know utilize a fusion substitute combo, draw two or three cards or whatever. That's pretty basic. But what you also have access to with this deck because of Chaka 9's existence is that we now have access to making a one card play with Teratop into Naturia Beast, Zodiac Dryden, King of the Feralim, and drawing one card during the combo sequence. So you end with four new cards off of your one Terra Top, and it still ends up in a, a plus three off of one card, but you end with Naturia Beast Dryden. So you end with Naturia Beast, which is a card that is protectable by Dryden from anything that your opponent might do to try and get over it, save something like Karn Gorgon, which would be savage, but also like unless your opponent has a kaiju they're not going to be able to use their spells their powerful spells to get them out of the early game stuff like that and it's just a really strong opener that is a good one card starter for this deck now before i show you the combo i want to just take some time to address something really quickly hopefully in the comments section of the previous two videos i've had a bunch of people or not a bunch of people but a few people voice concerns of zoo is stale we've seen zoo before it's not that interesting all that sort of stuff i understand that zoo has definitely been around for a while people should understand what the deck is capable of but that's just the thing people should understand what the deck is capable of and that is what these videos are meant to be whether you are playing the deck or whether you are against zoo and you don't want to play the deck you still are going to benefit from the knowledge of knowing what this deck does i've seen way too many rogue players that don't play meta decks that could have beaten their opponent playing a meta deck had they been more knowledgeable of the capabilities of the deck they were playing against i've seen people that were fans of my channel even in the past at events like regionals and stuff where they literally could have won the game and had i been sitting in their place i would have won the game knowing what cards they had because i had more knowledge of what the opponent was playing than they did because they weren't interested in the deck so they didn't find an interest in learning how that deck operated and what its capabilities were so they didn't know what to stop they didn't know what to valor they didn't know what to max c against specifically they didn't know what to like solemn strike they didn't know what to flip bottomless against all that sort of stuff they didn't know where the vulnerabilities lied and they didn't know what to expect they were waiting for their opponent to put out a board before they even knew what their opponent was trying to do so knowledge is your best friend here whether you're playing this deck or whether you're not playing this deck it's definitely something where i'm trying to spread information amongst people that you want to know what this deck can do because you don't want to be caught by surprise by it, especially if you're playing Rogue. Especially if you're not playing meta, you have to work harder than everyone else in the room and that means you need to be just as knowledgeable about what your opponent's deck can do than what they know that they can do. So like, you you definitely want to have knowledge of this stuff. So the, to the people that say it's not interesting, I beg to differ. I'm trying to help people improve. I'm trying to improve myself as well throughout these. Uh, finding people that like are having different combo sequencings and stuff like that. Like, it's all for the better good of understanding how this deck operates, whether you decide to play it or whether you want to be on the opposite side of the table from it and know exactly what to stop but anyway enough of that rambling Teratop, one card play naturia beast dryden all that sort of stuff now this play is something that's not too like conventional and it's definitely something that's a little bit weird to try and figure out how to do until you see it done and then it's just super simple so as soon as you see it done once you'll never forget how it's done uh, but it's really odd to figure it out because it's not really the norm of how you'd expect the play to be structured but anyway you have Teratop in hand you special summon Teratop, use its effect to add speed roy takatomborg you're going to special talk a Tomborg and then overlay them into your MX Saber Invoker. Pretty standard, right? Stuff that we could expect from Zoo by now. So you're going to Invoker into your Rap Pier, and then you're going to Borbo on top of the Rap Pier, detaching Rap Pier to summon the second copy of Rap Pier from your deck. And now you're going to put Broad Bull on top of the Borbo, detaching Borbo to add your Lunalite Black Sheep to hand. And then you're going to discard that Black Sheep to add Fusion Substitute to hand. Now, Fusion Substitute is live right now. But you don't want to do that. <laughs> you definitely have different combos you could go down, but if you're trying to summon Naturia Beast, it's not the way you're going to be doing it. And that's where a lot of people mess up and they just like go Fusion Substitute right away and they're like, how do I not make Matt? How can I not make Naturia Beast here? I don't understand. But anyway, 
So what you do is you overlay Shaka 9 on top of the Broad Bull here. You detach the Broad Bull and you either bring back Broad Bull or the Borbo. It doesn't matter as long as it's an Xyz monster. And now you want to activate Fusion Substitute. And you want to Fusion Substitute specifically with the Invoker and whatever card you brought back off of the Chaka 9. You do not want to use the Chaka 9 itself. You want to use this card specifically because it cannot be used as an overlay material for an Xyz summon. So you get rid of it so that it can be used for something more useful for the greater good, which is Elder Entity Norden. So you're going to fuse into Norden, and Norden is going to bring back the only level 4 monster that is in your graveyard, which is Zodiac Rapier. And then off of that, you're going to overlay the Norden and the Rapier that you just brought back into King of the Feralimps. Now, King of the Feralimps searches you reptile cards, so you should be able to see where this is going by now. You're going to detach Norden specifically to add X Saber Palomaru to your hand. Now, you add X Saber Palomaru, and because everything that we've just done has been off of only Terror Top, you're still you know, able to normal summon. We still preserve our normal summon for this entire playline. So, what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your X Saber Palomaru, and you're going to synchro with the rat and the Palomaru that's left over into your Naturia Beast. So, now from here, you get to put your Dryden on top of your uh, Chaka 9. You could stack as many Xyz materials as you want underneath it. For like tiger mortar and stuff um, and then you have this norden that is chilling in your graveyard and the fusion substitute so you will banish the fusion substitute and put norden back into your extra deck to draw a random card so a lot of people mess up this combo because they see that they're you're supposed to get like a random draw and so they expect oh i've got to make digesto emerald no it's all the fusion substitute now what this does do unfortunately is that when you make this play, you end up with all of your rats out of the deck because you've got a rat in grave and you've got a rat under the King of the Feralimps. Um, so you haven't recycled your rats back into the deck and you have quite a few resources in grave as well as far as your MX Saber Invoker, your Borbo that's a one of, your Black Sheep is still in the grave so if you play multiple fusion subs there's that. It's a very resource intensive combo in terms of it doesn't reset your resources efficiently. Now if you had instant fusion that all changes because you can make emeralds and do the combo a bit differently obviously. But that's not what we're focusing on here. Uh, but you could still follow up with Instant Fusion and do things like that. But also, if you had Instant Fusion and you knew what the matchup was specifically, you'd be able to Instant Fusion into Norden, bring back Rat, and make something like M like a Abyss Dweller to go alongside your board and have Naturia Beast, Dweller, Dryden. And then that's just an auto win. But we're not in the we're not trying to argue hypotheticals here right now. What I'm just trying to do is show you a combo. But anyway, so you end with Naturia Beast, you end with Dryden, you end with King of the Feralimps, and you drew a random card. So whatever that random card is is going to dictate like how effective your defensive line is. You still had four other other cards in hand alongside the card that you draw so you should have some reasonable amounts of defense if you're doing this play and you see that you have a terror top in hand and you're like okay i'm just going to do this entirety of this play uh you could get extra draws out of this if you had rat in your hand so you could like invoker out the uh the uh, thoroughblade and rotate the rat out for a new card and then just tiger mortar it back there's a lot of different little circumstances like circumstantials that you could do that allowed this uh, combo to be a little bit more extensive a little bit better all that sort of stuff things mold based off the rest of your hand things are multiple off that but this is the pure basis and basics of this combo the naturia beast combo is really interesting because like i said unless your opponent has a kaiju over naturia beast they're locked out of their spells uh, so while it is a very resource intensive combo it is arguably an auto win unless your opponent has kaiju out of the Naturia Beast because no other card is going to out the Naturia Beast with Dryden on the field to just pop it when they try to attack over it. Stuff like that to think about and consider. But anyway, that is this combo. I'm going to be showing you some more combos. Um, I'm getting ready for YCS Pittsburgh, so the main reason I'm making a lot of these videos is also just to, to further facilitate the knowledge of them sinking into my own head because I think I'm going to be playing Pure Zoo in Pittsburgh as well. So there is that to consider as well. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, links are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. If you want to help some pipe dreams I have for this channel come into fruition a bit sooner, as well as if you want to get access into my private Discord server where me and 15 others chat on a like, daily basis, and you also want to potentially get into some monthly giveaways at the end of each month, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon and see if there's anything to your liking over there. But other than that, if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards then definitely check out second chance gaming's website which is also linked in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel and all of the zodiac cards that you saw on screen for this video were directly supplied to me by the second chance gaming owners so they've been a, they've been a great help in terms of supporting the channel for video making purposes and all that sort of stuff so if you want to help them help me 
further in the future, basically, then definitely go check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. I'm a big fan of how they do business and how they are supporting me as a channel. But other than that, that is it for this video. As I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you have any cool combos for other decks as well, like cool like one, two card combos that aren't too specific, definitely feel free to send them in an email form to my email, which is in the description of this video, phoenixflaredecks at gmail. I would definitely be interested in doing more combo videos for some less than meta decks that are just cool like not very situational combos in terms of like one or two card combos i've got a few lined up for other decks like i've got a one card zephyr combo lined up this is a it's a really big extensive combo that literally starts with one card and stuff like that but anyway as i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time enough of this rambling if you watched all the way to the end then just give us a hashtag naturia beast in the comments just to let me know that you listen to everything that i say and all that sort of stuff but anyway take care guys i will see you in the next video